Welcome to Prestel. I'm Bernard Cribbins, and over the next few minutes I want to tell you something about Prestel, the new post office view data service. Prestel brings you information, education and entertainment at the press of a button. I have in my hand a keypad linked to this Prestel television set. For the sports fan, sports information is at your fingertips. I mean, how about that? And for the cook, recipes when you need them. And for children, quizzes and games. Hello, this one is suitable for 9 to 14 year olds. Yes, well, I think I'll have a go at this. Between 1649 and 1660, England had no king but was ruled by a Lord Protector called. Oh, yes, I think I know the answer to this one. Let's see, key three. And. <laughs> yes, I'm right. Yes, I think I'll quit now while I'm winning. <laughs> now, this page tells you what Prestel is. Prestel sends information from a computer over the phone to your television. It's very easy to use. Well, I mean, it must be, because I'm managing, aren't I? You don't have to know anything about computers. You can use Prestel from home, as you've already seen, and at work, in business. Press 1 on the keypad. And here's some information from the Stock Exchange. Now let's look at my share portfolio in oils. Press 4. Oh, I see. Oh, they've gone down again. Still, I've only got two. Hmm. Now a nice thing about Prestel is that the information is up to date. Now, to get Prestel, you need an ordinary telephone line. And you need a Prestel television set like the one we're using or an adapter to your present set. Both of these come with this keypad affair. So, let's look at what it's going to cost you. You buy or rent the Prestel TV and you pay to phone your nearest Prestel centre and that's usually a local call charge. You also get an extra charge for the time you're connected to Prestel. Then you pay to see the pages of information, though some are free, like this one. The phone charge goes on your phone bill. The Prestel charges go on your Prestel bill. Now these pages cost 2p, but they offer very good value for money. Which magazine is one of the largest providers of information? And here is the good food guide. So let's have a restaurant in London. Press naught. See, they're taking me out after the show. Well, they don't know, but I didn't have any breakfast. <laughs> now, that's North London, so we press 8. Uh, Italian, French, Greek, Turkish, Cypriot, Indian, Pakistani, Scandinavian, Monsieur Frog. Yes, well, I think it's going to have to be... The Sultan's Delight. 301 Upper Street, North 1. Telephone number 01226-8346. It's a kebab house. It's open tonight, 6 till 12.30, but I'm not permitted to bring a dog. So you can see there's a lot of information on this thing. At present, there are 50,000 pages available, provided by 170 organisations of all shapes and sizes. That's the organisations, I mean, not the pages. The pages are all the same size, as you probably noticed. <laughs> There's government information, HEC, the Health Education Council on baby vaccinations. And many commercial firms are providing information. WH Smith, for example. WH Smith is promoting its travel service via Prestel. Here are some details of a Spanish hotel chain. Now, how do you find your way around these thousands of pages of information? Where do you start? Well, there are two ways. First you get a directory, rather like a telephone directory, and you look up what you want and key the Prestel page number. For example, jobs you will find on Prestel page 17918. Well, that's one way of finding the information. The second way is to search on Prestel itself. 
and you start with this main index page. Business, sport and hobbies, entertainment, holidays, transport, travel, marketplace, advice, science, employment, books and reference. Hmm. Let's look up information on jobs, because my producer might want one after this. Now that is under employment, so we press eight. He's the graduate type, of course, and he certainly needs a new opportunity, so we'll press one. And here is the career data service from the new opportunity press. Hmm. Ah, yes, I found just the job for him. He loves banknotes, he saves them. Never been known to spend one. <laughs> so, who can get Prestel right now? Well, at the moment, there's a test service with 1,500 sets at home and work in London, Norwich and Birmingham. In 1979, Prestel goes public in a dozen centres. Manchester, Edinburgh, Liverpool, Nottingham, as you can see. A nice thing about Prestel... It's not all based in London. One of the liveliest information providers is in Norwich, Eastel. They publish a range of information for people who live and work in East Anglia and also for someone, say, in Glasgow, who is travelling to East Anglia. Sport, news, weather, hotels, community services, going out, horoscopes... Horoscopes? Listen, I could look up my stars. Aspects are good today. Warm-hearted relationship. Oh, that means he's going to buy wine as well tonight. Wonderful. Now, here is a list of the key features of Prestel. It's under your control. You choose the pages you want to see when you want to see them. It's open around 23 hours every day. The computer takes an hour or so off in the middle of the night. It's for family and business. It's easy to use, the information is up to date. And there is a wide range of detailed information. For example, how to plan your kitchen from IPC. Now here is a suggested layout of the kitchen. And if you want to know more about appliances, you press 2. Cookers, refrigerators, freezers, washing machines, dishwashers. And then, in the last paragraph, very sensibly, it reminds you that maximum walking distance between fridge, sink and cooker should form triangle of six metres. <laughs> and it's possible to buy the dishwasher, for example, using the keypad, sitting in your armchair. In this case, from Fedida Enterprises Limited, using my credit card. Shall I? No, I'll just get us some new rubber gloves. Now, you may come across in the television shop the terms Teletext, CFAX, Oracle, and wonder what they have to do with view data and Prestel. Well, Teletext is the name for information services carried piggyback over the broadcast signal onto TV sets. The BBC's is called CFAX. The IBA's, that is to say, the commercial television companies, is called Oracle. View data and Prestel are something different. View data is an information service of many thousands of pages carried by the telephone to your TV. Prestel is the trademark of the post office view data service, the first service of its kind in the world. Oh, what's that? Bernard Cribbins, your time is up. Oh, I see. Yes, well, it looks as though my time is up. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of Prestel. And I hope that you will enjoy Prestel. <laughs>